Now we will derive what is known as Rankine Hugonayat equation. Now let us first consider a normal shock wave. We know that across a normal shock, static pressure increases. Static pressure P increases across the shock wave, and that means we can use a normal shock as a thermodynamic device to compress a gas. I am repeating it again that we can use a normal shock wave as a thermodynamic device to compress a gas. Now in the last section we derived property relation for normal shock wave in terms of velocity and Mach numbers. We can also express those property relations in terms of purely thermodynamic properties without giving any reference to velocity and Mach number and the equation or the property relation involving purely thermodynamic properties is called rankine hugonayat equation. Now let us derive the rankine hugonayat equation. Now from continuity equation we know that u2 equals u1 into rho1 by rho2 from continuity equation. Now from momentum equation we know that P1 plus rho1 u1 square equals P2 plus rho2 u2 square. Now we will put u2 as u1 into rho1 by rho2. So u2 is so u2 is u1 into rho1 by rho2 square. From this equation we can find out what is u1 square. So u1 square will be equal to p2 minus p1 p2 minus p1 divided by rho2 minus rho1 into rho2 by rho1 and similarly we can also write down equation for u2 square which will be equal to p2 minus p1 rho2 by rho1 into rho 1 by rho 2. So this will be equation for u1 square and u2 square. Now let us write down energy equation. We know that energy equation is h1 plus u1 square by 2 equals h2 plus u2 square by 2. Now we know that h1 is e1 plus p1 by rho1 and we know u1 square is p2 minus p1 rho2 minus rho1 into rho2 by rho1 equals h2 will be e2 plus p2 by rho2 plus 1 by 2 p2 minus p1 divided by rho2 minus rho1 into rho1 by rho2 and this simplifies to e2 minus e1 equals p1 plus p2 by 2 into 1 divided by rho1 minus 1 divided by rho 2. Rho 1 by rho 1 is nu 1 specific volume at 1 and 1 by rho 2 is equal to nu 2 specific volume at 2 and this is called Rankine Hugonite equation. This is known as Rankine Hugonite equation and this equation contains only thermodynamic properties E internal energy, P pressure and nu specific volume and this is the equation we are familiar with delta E equals minus P average into delta nu. We are familiar with this equation. This is nothing but the first law of thermodynamics with dq equals 0. 
Now we will plot this Rankine Huguenot equation on PV diagram. We know that we can represent any thermodynamic property as a function of as a function of two independent thermodynamic properties. So we can represent u1 as a function of p1 mu1 and e2 as a function of p2 mu2 and hence we can write down this equation as p2 as a function of p1 mu1 and mu2. We already know what is p1 and mu1. So for a given compression mu2 we can find out what will be p2. Now we have plot this equation p2 as a function of p1 mu1 mu2 on pv diagram on pv diagram we have also plotted a graph for isentropic process this is our isentropic process and this is our hugo naet curve which represents what is known as shock wave compression meaning we can compress a gas using normal shock wave as a thermodynamic device now we will determine which compression process is more effective and which one is more efficient whether isentropic is more efficient or whether ugonite is more efficient or say whether isentropic is more effective or say shock wave compression is more effective now from the diagram we can see that for a given for a given decrease in specific volume we can see that normal shock wave compression gives higher pressure higher pressure behind the shock wave that means shock wave compression is more effective it is more effective now let us see which process will be more efficient now we have seen that there are some irreversible process going on inside the normal shock wave and which further increase the entropy of the gas and that is why normal shock wave compression will cost us more than an isentropic compression and we can say that isentropic compression will be more efficient and shock wave compression will be less efficient but it is more effective remember now we will find out the slope between point 1 and point 2 we know that u1 square is equal to p2 minus p1 rho 2 minus rho 1 into rho 2 by rho 1 now we know that nu is equal to 1 by rho u1 square will be equal to p2 minus p1 divided by 1 by nu2 minus 1 by nu1 into nu1 by nu2 this implies u1 square equals p2 minus p1 divided by nu1 minus nu2 into nu1 square so our slope will become p2 minus p1 divided by nu2 minus nu1 equals u1 divided by nu1 whole square minus sign because i have taken minus as common from nu1 minus nu2 so this is the slope of ugonite curve